Yes, sir. Okay, so the primer 94 is now dried. It, take, it took about two minutes, like we said. So what I'm doing, I'm just wiping off the gator step, the back, so we don't recontaminate the surface. And then what you wanna do is you wanna do a quick dry fit, make sure that you know everything fits, then you do have the right piece. In this case, it's a very small piece, so I don't have to do the hinge method, but on larger pieces, it's nice so you can slide it around um, so you can get that perfect placement. So, so we're happy right there. I'm gonna go ahead and stick down that first section and then peel the rest of the backing off while letting this be up above whatever the surface you're applying it to and then just rub out all the air to the excess. So the next thing is you wanna grab a roller. This, this is just a floor a carpet roller. And then you just roll that on top to get up um, as much pressure to the bottom as possible because it is a pressure sensitive adhesive. And then I like to use this little guy as well and just go through and get those edges real tight with this. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but when I'm pressing in down here, you can see that it's conforming to those grooves really well. And then just do that all the way around the perimeter. And that's essentially it. That is the best way to install gator step. We're gonna go ahead and do it one more time with this other piece. Typically, I understand that this would be a one piece, but for testing purposes, we did it as two. And you saw this small piece, so I just pulled the whole backing off, which is fine. Once again, rub all the air out towards the perimeter. Grab my big roller. Apply even pressure. Grab my little roller and apply that pressure towards that edge so it conforms in all those grooves real well and seals. That's one of the most crucial areas is sealing the edges so it doesn't get contaminated with dirt and debris. And that's it. And that's all there is to it. The end.